Okay, I'm back. Um, hopefully this is the last part of the tutorial, but I kind of lied to you about um, being done with NIFScope. We have a couple small things we got to do yet. Um, not we The one that we've messed with so far is this Daedric Kirkus Go. We also need to mess with um, Daedric Torso, of F, uh, that's your female torso, your first person torso, and also the Daedric Kirkus underscore one. So I'll go ahead and open this. Sounds like a lot to do, but it really isn't. See, I've already applied it, so this one's ready to go. I did this ahead of time, um, <clears throat> just so. Well, I didn't do this one. I'm trying to save some time. But all you do is the same thing you did to begin with on our very first video. And that's find the DDS file that's linked. It's good to go. Hit file save or save as, save, yes, you're done with that one. And you need Kirkus underscore one. If you notice, I started that with TWL instead of triple O. For some reason, the creation kit does not like triple O on this one. It can be kind of quirky sometimes. So that took a little while for me to figure out, but I got it figured out and it's on there. So we've got our Go model our torso model, our first person model, and our underscore one model. Okay, now we can go in the creation kit. I've already done a search for Daedric C, which brings up anything that has that in there, obviously. I'm under the all menu. And um, Daedric Kirkus is first thing there. Armor Daedric Kirkus. So you're going to want to right click it, duplicate, duplicate it. And then the recipe you're going to want to duplicate and the temper you're going to want to duplicate. Now you have to kind of go back and reload or they won't show up. So then you go back up here and we'll call this guy 01. Create new object, no. Make sure yes. Hit enter. Now we can name it right here. We'll call it our da uh, data camo armor. And we need to change the world model. And right now it's pointing to the normal Go NIF, so we need to change that to our edited Go NIF, which is blah blah. Right here. Open. So that's good to go. Now, the part I was messing up earlier when I, I actually tried to record this video earlier and it kept messing up was you gotta mess with your model down here, Daedric Kirkus AA. And you have to replace all of these NIF files with the same thing that's kind of already in there, but your edited one. So this one is a underscore one NIF. So you hit select, and you hit edit, armor, Daedric. And this is the one I had to rename TWL. And there it is. Hit OK. Now this one is your first person Daedric Kirkus, so we need to change that to our double O first person Daedric Kirkus. Hit OK. This is our torso one, so we need to edit and change that to our torso model. Hit OK. And then, see, this is female, that's male. We're just kind of doing the same thing. This is the same first, first person file that we have to mess with. Hit OK. And we're going to name rename this ID 01. OK. Yes, create new form. OK. So then we hit, we get rid of the old one. We right click new. No. I'll shoot and type in Daedric and there it is right there so we hit that let's go ahead and double click and make sure everything's right yeah it's got the TWL triple O triple O and it's good to go okay so the armor is good now the only things that we have to change now are the recipes and the tempers and that this is really simple um, the recipe is what you will make at the forge you want to make sure you're making your armor and not the normal, it's going to default to your normal Daedric Kirkus. You want a Daedric Kirkus 01. 
You could also change this stuff here, but I'm not here to do that. The temper one is how it's improved at the ah crap. How it's improved at the um workbench. So same thing. Do that. Okay. So we're done. Now we just need to put it in the game. I like to use the C test cell. Double click on that. Zoom out a little bit. And we'll drop our normal one in there, and then we'll drop our camo one in there. And I also know the light in this room is kind of bad. So, I'm gonna put some sort of Omni light in there so we can see a little bit better. Let's just do um, default sunlight. We'll throw it right there. Make it bigger. Make it a little bit brighter. Okay. Then we're going to save it. We'll call it the D Armor plugin. Hit save. Now we're in creation kit, and all we have to do is launch the game. <laughs> Hopefully, this doesn't get choppy on my cruddy desktop uh, recording software, but. We shall see. If not, I might use FRAP for this portion. Hit data files. D armor. It's selected. Unselect. I mean, I have everything else unselected just so it's quicker to load and no conflicts, even though there shouldn't be any. Tilde, COC, C test. And this should throw us right where we want to be. And here we are. And there's our armor. Let's go ahead and, well, ignore the regular one for now. And go ahead and put on. Hopefully this works. The lighting actually made it worse. There we go. And there it is. It's really kind of a bad room to put it in to see. But you can see the armor there. You can see the red tip on the one right there. This is a really bad room to show it off in. But you see that glow there. The cool thing about Daedric armor is it has the glow. But the bad thing is when you edit it, the glow is still there. So you might not see some of your um, the stuff you did. You can really see the back there. It's the camo. But, um, you could take that glow off, but I didn't. Kind of forgot to. But, that's how you do it, guys. Hopefully, you guys understood from beginning to end, and I didn't confuse you too much. But, I think we're good.